It's common to visit the grave of a famous writer or musician, but some of the world's best known authors aren't buried where you think they might be. Mark Twain. Although Mark Twain was known for his tales about Missouri and the Mississippi River, he's buried in the town of Elmira, New York. Twain's wife, Olivia Langdon, was from Elmira, and the family spent summers at Olivia's sister's farm. Twain called Elmira a foretaste of heaven, and the Center for Mark Twain's Studies is located there. James Joyce. Today, James Joyce is synonymous with Ireland. However, he left Ireland in 1905 and never returned, living in Zurich, then Paris, then Zurich again. After he died, his wife Nora asked Ireland for permission to bury his body there. Ireland denied the request. Today, Nora rests alongside Joyce and their son in Zurich. F. Scott Fitzgerald. F. Scott Fitzgerald was born in St. Paul, Minnesota, and described the glittering world of New York City during the 1920s. However, he's buried in a family plot near his father in Rockville, Maryland, a suburb of Washington, D.C. His wife Zelda and their daughter Scotty are buried there as well. Initially, the church refused to bury Fitzgerald in the family plot because he wasn't a practicing Catholic. They changed their minds in 1975. Herman Melville. Today, Herman Melville's name evokes images of the sea or maybe of the Berkshires in Massachusetts, where he lived while writing Moby Dick. But Melville spent the last 40 years of his life in New York City, and he's buried with his family in Woodlawn Cemetery underneath an oak tree. J.D. Salinger. J.D. Salinger was born and raised in Manhattan and immortalized the city in The Catcher in the Rye. He retired from public life and lived in the small town of Cornish, New Hampshire for over 50 years. When he died in 2010, he was cremated, and there's been no word about where his ashes are spread, if anywhere. After all, as Holden Caulfield said, who wants flowers when you're dead? <laughs>